Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I would like to teach you how to balance the equation of silver nitrate plus copper yields copper nitrate plus silver. All right, so first thing is I place in these little hash marks, and uh, I do that to identify the locations of the coefficients I'm going to place in. The next thing is to just keep in mind the main idea of balancing, that however many atoms of each particular element you have on the left-hand side has to balance however many atoms of each particular element you have on the right-hand side. All right, and then all I do is I start working with the first element that I see. So I see silver. I want to make sure it only exists in one compound on, on the left and only in one. That's not a compound. It's by itself on the right, but it's only in one spot. Okay, so I have one silver on the left. That's where the subscripts come into play, right? The subscripts tell us how many of each atom we have in the molecule. So we have one silver there, and we also have one silver on the right. So that's balanced already. Move on to the next. Now, sometimes they recommend to break this up into nitrogen and oxygen. I don't do that because I notice that this is nitrate. It's a polyatomic ion. How do you know that? Well, it's through memorization, pattern recognition. It's just knowing like, you know, I don't know, NO3 is nitrate, right? Um, so I look to balance nitrate next. I notice I have only one nitrate on the left-hand side. And I also have nitrate on the right-hand side, but there's two of them, right? There's two of them. And therefore, I have to place a coefficient of two on the left so that I balance it out. Because essentially now what happens, if you think about this, is I have two silver nitrates now. And I have how many then nitrates in total? Well, I have two of them now, right? And that'll balance the two nitrates in copper nitrate, okay? So hopefully that kind of makes sense there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to look to then balance the copper. Copper is the only thing that's left. And copper here uh, is has a subscript of one. And copper is only in this compound on the right-hand side and that has a subscript of one. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It is balanced. You can leave these all blank if you want or you can place ones in if you want it. It doesn't really make a difference, but that's all it is. So thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. And if it did, like, subscribe. Check out our channel because we've got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics as well. we got a whole lot of other stuff coming. We want to help you get an A on your test. All right? That's our mission. we got solved or specific problems that are solved, specific problems very similar to the ones that you'll probably see on your exam. All right? And we walk you through it step by step. Take care.